So there's been this meme that's been going around for a long time about how hard Arch Linux is to set up and use. So depending on how much of the meme that you've heard of, you might be thinking that installing Arch Linux is going to be this arduous process. It's only for elite level users and it's just going to be constantly breaking all the time. You're going to run into all these issues where your system just breaks and you're going to need to fix it all the time and just all these problems that you're going to run into. And if you actually want to get some real work done instead of just tinkering on your system all day, then you're probably just better off installing something like Ubuntu, Manjaro, like maybe the GNOME desktop or something like this, instead of going through this difficult process of installing Arch Linux. And to be honest, I believed the meme for a long time, so I stayed away from Arch for a long time. And I basically spent a year just distro hopping to different distros and never really finding one that I was completely happy with. So I stayed on Ubuntu for a few months, of course, as everybody's beginner distro. And then I jumped around to Debian, Fedora, all these different ones, even Manjaro. And I didn't really like any of them, to be honest. And I pretty much saved Arch Linux for last just because I heard it was going to be so difficult to set up. And I thought I could probably do it, but it was just going to be more trouble than it's worth. And do I really want to put all this time and effort into it if it's not even going to be worth it? Like, I would rather just be spending my time, like, making a website or something like that. Like, some, some better use of my time. And like most memes, there's a little bit of truth in it and a lot of exaggeration. So I'm not going to say to you right now that Arch Linux is so easy to use. Anybody who's ever started up Ubuntu before can basically tackle it. And it's not going to be any big deal at all. Because the truth is, if you start up Arch Linux... If you start up an Arch Linux ISO right now and just jump into it without knowing anything beforehand, you're probably going to have a really bad time unless you're basically an expert at all things Linux. But that's the thing. Today, you don't really need to be an expert in order to install Arch Linux because the documentation is so good. So you can just open up the Arch Linux or just look on YouTube. There's like a new video every three months on how to install Arch Linux. And there's really no excuse for not being able to install it these days because there's just so much documentation and there's step-by-step -step guides all over the place on how to set it up and install it. And of course, this does require some basic level of Linux knowledge. So if all your Linux experience is just clicking on buttons in GNOME, then you're probably not going to have enough experience in order to install Arch Linux. But if you're comfortable with navigating around your system using the command line, if you're comfortable with changing system settings inside your command line, then you're probably going to be fine. So I thought I needed more preparation in order to install Arch Linux, but it really wasn't that bad. Basically, the only skill that you really need in order to install Arch Linux is just the ability to look things up yourself and not have to ask everybody every time you run into an issue so a lot of the claims of elitism directed towards Arch users is basically just Arch users telling people to read the manual. Because it can be annoying if somebody just goes onto the Arch Linux Reddit or something like that and just asks all these basic questions that can just be answered with a simple search. And you'd probably get the Arch Wiki as your first result. And so basically you put in no effort in order to answer the question yourself. So the only skill that you need is the ability to search for your own answers You'll probably be able to find them on the Arch Wiki. Maybe read the man pages, look through some Arch Wiki forum posts, and you're probably going to be fine. As long as you're willing to do some basic research yourself and not be spoon-fed everything, that's all you should really expect when you're going into Arch Linux. If you have those skills, then you're basically ready to install it. And so whenever I first installed Arch Linux, okay, it took me a few hours, maybe five hours, because I messed up a whole bunch of times. And working with the Wi-Fi initially was a big headache and then I messed up some UAFI settings and so it took me a few times I had to restart the whole process a little bit and reinstall a bunch of packages but once I finished then it wasn't really that bad and to be honest once you finish the initial setup you can do something like install a tiling window manager and set up Bluetooth and all these different things all by yourself or you can just install some desktop environment like GNOME or KDE and that'll manage pretty much everything for you. So it's really not that hard to set up Arch. You go through the initial installation process and install a desktop environment if you want something simple. And then all these things that you've heard about Arch Linux breaking all the time and 
maybe you're worried about messing up X, your xorg configuration and having to spend hours and hours in the TTY trying to troubleshoot something. And to be honest, that's never really happened to me. Like the worst thing that's ever happened to me in Arch Linux is the package manager stopped working and I had to go through and change out some things in the mirror list in order to get it working again. So basically I just searched for uh, whatever was wrong. I looked up the error that it was giving me. I followed a couple of posts on the Arch Wiki forums and it basically helped me solve the problem and that's pretty much the only thing that's ever went wrong for me so it's not really going to be a huge headache day to day in fixing all these different things and to be honest in a lot of ways using arch is easier than using something like ubuntu or any of these easier distros even something like manjaro so to be honest distros don't really matter that much and you can get something that basically looks the same and basically functions the same on any distro with maybe a little bit more work or a little bit less work. But there are a couple of nice features about Arch Linux that I just like. So I know there are more differences between Arch and something else. But these are the two main reasons why I decided to install Arch. So the first reason is just that Arch comes with basically nothing out of the box. So you have to install everything you want yourself. And to be honest, that's actually a good thing. So one major complaint that I had about Ubuntu and all these things, even Manjaro. So Manjaro is supposed to be easy arch. It has a nice installer that you can use and it sets up a whole bunch of stuff for you. But to be honest, it was a much worse experience than using arch because it came with all of this stuff that I just didn't need. So it came with two file managers out of the box. I don't know why. It came with a whole bunch of useless programs that I'm never ever going to use. And some of them were just really poorly made to be honest. And so my first hours that I spent in Manjaro was basically just trying to get it to a base level without all the stuff that it came included with it. So I basically just spent hours uninstalling all of this software that I didn't need. And it was a huge headache. Same with Ubuntu. It came with a whole bunch of stuff I didn't want. And it was just cluttering up my menus. But with Arch Linux, you get basically nothing out of the box. And you can install all of the packages that you want yourself. So you're not getting anything that you don't want. You're not having to go and uninstall half of everything that came with your system. And so you can make it as simple or as complex as you want and you have complete control over it. And the second main reason is just because of the repositories and also the Arch user repository. So the repositories in Arch user repository contain basically every application that you could ever possibly need. If you install a lot of things in Ubuntu, you might be familiar with having to add these repositories from who knows where and you have to constantly be searching around the internet in order to find where these repositories are located and which programs are in which repositories and it can be a huge hassle having to add all these custom repositories whereas for Arch Linux it has almost everything you need in the main official repositories and then it also has the Arch user repository that people can upload to and you can get binaries of almost every application there. So very rarely am I having to hunt something down or build something from source. It just makes that very easy. And so that's a major headache that I don't have to deal with because of Arch. So in that way, it's even easier than some of these other distributions. And one more nice thing about Arch Linux is just that you're always going to have up-to-date software. So maybe you're on Ubuntu and you see some new GNOME update that looks really cool. You want to try it out. But if you check the repositories, you're probably not going to get the latest version. It's probably going to be a version or a few old. And that's just because they don't always update the repositories whenever a new version comes out. It can take a while for them to get it. So you might just have to build it from source or something like that. But Arch Linux gets all of these pretty much immediately. So if you want to install a new update of GNOME or anything else, it's almost always going to have the latest version ready. And you might think that this comes with a lot of bugs. Maybe you're installing some cutting edge software that's just going to break because it hasn't been properly bug tested. But that's almost never the case. Most of these updates are very well um, bug tested. So you're not really going to run into any issues with that. And having the most current up to date software is much nicer than having an older version of software. If you like to play around with new things and new features, that's fun. It's just a little nice bonus to have. And so if you're a Linux user and you're a little bit apprehensive about using Arch Linux, 
Well, I wouldn't say just go for it. So if you're scared, you can just install Arch in a virtual box, or you can do like me and you've never opened Arch Linux in your life and you just wipe your entire system and replace it with Arch Linux and hope it works out. That's what I did and it did work out, but you might not want to do that. So you can test it out before you actually do anything with it. Don't assume it's going to be that hard. Like I said, the only skill that you need to do is have the skill to look things up by yourself, not always be asking other people how to do something. So if all you've done is just click on buttons in GNOME before, then get your hands dirty a little bit, try working in the command line a little bit more. And Arch Linux will improve your Linux skills as well. So it, it will have you working in the terminal more and getting more familiar with your system whenever you change some things. So it's very good for learning Linux as well. So if you have a rudimentary knowledge, maybe an intermediate knowledge of the command line and Linux and all that, then I would urge you to give it a try. And Arch Linux is probably not going to change your life and all of this, but I just think it is the easiest distro to work with. That's why I personally recommend it. Don't fall for all the memes where Arch Linux is super hard to use or their users are super elitist. If that's really what you think, then you should probably just log off 4chan Stop reading all the snarky, ironic comments, and just give it a try yourself. And you can see for yourself if you like it or not.